Hello everybody! Today in this tutorial we're going to look at how to create some service schema markup. Uh, our example is going to be this uh, Invisalign service page for a local dentist here in Guelph and we're going to create that in the structured data editor. Um, to begin with we've already made the dentist uh, data item for the home page and the contact page and the opening hours and all of that. We're just going to focus on the service schema. So we'll search for that first in the editor here and we will click create to get started. Now when we make a data item we need the three pieces of information. We need the name of the thing which will be in Visalign treatments and we need the URL, which will be our URL there. Paste that in, and it's service schema. Um, yeah, okay, and we'll jump in and get started. So the required properties here are name, simply. And so we have all of these properties left to us to choose from. And what we wanna do is actually look at the page here and determine what elements are important to include. I do have a list for us to go through that are usually applicable uh, in the case of creating service schema. So those are going to be all listed here, but I have them in a row. So we have the name, additional type, area served, brand, description, image, logo, any offers, potential action, provider, review, service output, subject of in the URL. So uh, the additional type we're actually going to start with. So that, oh, here we are, is an additional type for the item, typically used for adding more specific types from external vocabularies. So in this case, we're going to use the external vocabulary Wikipedia to better explain exactly what kind of service this is, which is Invisalign. So let's see. Uh, in is a line Wikipedia clear aligners cool so we'll say that's our Wikipedia page awesome so now we've used Wikipedia saying not only is this a service but it's a service about clear aligners um, now the next is going to be the area served. This is the geographical area that the service uh, or offered item is provided. In this case, it's dental services within Guelph, Ontario. So we'll use Wikipedia. This time, we'll just simply use the widget within Schema App itself, and we'll search for Guelph. And uh, it should be the first option, city in Ontario, Canada. Perfect. Uh, so the next is the brand. So that's going to be um, the doctor's office themselves, Speedvale Dental Center, because so, they're the brand of service. So Speedvale Dental Center, perfect. Now we also want a description. So if we come here, we can see a description. Uh, we'll take just this first part here. Copy that text. You want the text from the page included, awesome. And we want to capture an image next. So we'll go here and we'll try and find an image to use that's relevant. Um, we'll copy this image right here. And we'll paste that in. It's an external URL ending in PNG, which is perfect. So we can click to confirm that. Now we'll choose a logo, which will be the Speedvale Dental logo. So we'll copy that in. We copy that image address and we'll paste that into the form builder. Uh, it's an indexable URL again, so that's good. And we will click to confirm. Um, the next one we might want to use is main entity of page. So this is just expecting a URL for which this thing, our data item, is the main entity of that page. So we'll simply put the URL in there and it'll say uh, the service data item is the most important thing for that URL. Next would be offers. So an offer to provide this item and we want to make an offer data item. So we'll create a data item. We'll call this invis align treatments offer. Uh, we have the correct uh, URL already in here and it has the hashtag 
and offer. So that's good. We can click OK. The next we want to do is the potential action. I'd already made one and we can use it over again. That one is uh, contact us. So the potential action that someone might take here is to you know get in contact. Uh, the next is the provider of the service. That is going to be Speedvale again, because they're providing the service. Um, after that, we would have review, which is good uh, to include. So I think at the bottom of this page, there are some reviews for us to use. Here we are. Okay, yeah, what our patients say. Okay, so that is by Tricia. All right, so we're going to create a review data item will say uh, uh, that's a review by Trisha. Again, we have the right URL, so it'll deploy to the right page. And then our unique indicator, which is hashtag review. OK. Uh, now, we don't need a same as. Uh, service output would be interesting to add, though. This will be the output of the service. Here, we'll say uh, the service output is braces, Pedia. dental braces. So we'll copy that link and we will create a data item. We'll say it's dental braces service output. That's correct thing, awesome. And we want the subject of. So this is a really cool property where we get to say that our uh, entity here, this service data item, is the subject of some kind of creative work. And if we look at the page, we'll be able to see that there's a, a video here. Uh, we can click here to watch and it'll pop out. And that's very common, so we want to be able to include that as well. So we're going to create a, a video object for the subject of. API reference, nope. Uh, we want a video object. Awesome. And we will call it um, short video friendly Invisalign short video. And again, we have our URLs correct and we have the URI at the end there, the unique re reference. Um, lastly, we want the URL. We can paste that in. So we've gone through and we can double check our list here. With the name, additional type, area served, brand, description, image, logo offers, potential action, provider, review, service output, subject of, URL. And going through, we have our additional type. We have our area served. We have our brand. We have our description. We have an image, we have a logo, we have an offer, a provider, a potential action, a review, service output, and a subject of an URL. So let's save changes. OK, so we have everything here. Um, the next step, though, is to, of course, open the data items we've made and define them as well. So we could do that, say, for our review. Or in reverse order, maybe um, a short video. OK, so we can edit that. And we'll let's see. check it out on YouTube to get the information. So we have. Over 100,000 views, that's going to be good uh, for interaction count. It doesn't probably expire. Um, let's grab. Embeds, there we go. This is, the, oh, excuse me. OK, be difficult. There we are. We want the embed link. So we'll copy that. 
content URL is simply here. Uh, what was the name? How does Invisalign work? Okay, so that's actually the name of the video. So we'll change that. We'll grab the description right here. The duration is one minute and oh, two minutes and two seconds. So we, when you're doing the duration, you have to do follow the ISO 8601 date format, where you have the um, different headers for the different measurements, like minutes, seconds, years. Uh, so for this, it'll be PT, uh, two minutes, two seconds. Thumbnail URL. Uh, so we want to grab this and we'll say YouTube video. Thumbnail image, get the thumbnail image. Uh, here it is. Really that easy. Copy. And it was uploaded on August 29th, 2014. So that's August 2014, and it was the 29th. Awesome. There's no expiry date because I don't think they plan to take it down. So we'll save changes. We know that there's no expiry date. That's fine. That is our video object for the subject of. Now the next part is the review. So we have the review by Trisha. So let's go to the review by Trisha content in the page. Let's just search for Trisha. There she is. Awesome, so we'll maybe start by just taking the content of her very long review, just so we have that ready. And that's the review body. Language is US. The URL for the review is the same. Um, let's see, our patients say best. You know, unfortunately, there isn't a star rating here. So we won't be able to put a review rating. I would recommend that you would include that, but we can call out who the author is. So this is a person, her name is Trisha, and she's the author. Um, date published, uh, it's not shown. So that may be uh, an indication that Speedville could put the date published the publisher, though, is Speedvale. There, the thing being reviewed as well. Or uh, the thing being reviewed is actually the Invisalign treatments. And the description would be what our people say, what our patients say. And uh, we'll have some missing information. We're missing a date published and a review rating, but the rest is all there and done. So yes, we know we'll have some validation results, but that's fine because it's not in the page. So we're going to want to, uh, since I've already made the potential action, go to the offer and we'll edit that data item as well. So here we have the price currency. It'll be US dollars. We don't actually have a price, unfortunately. Uh, the availability is constantly in stock. The price is probably valid for this year. Um, so we'll say December 31st. The item being offered is the Invisalign treatments. And we'll say that this is the URL. OK, we can click the incoming reference to go back up a level. OK, and We'll go to the service output. Only thing we want to do is link to the dental braces, saying that you know, when you get Invisalign, the output is you'll have dental braces. Okay, we'll go back to the Invisalign, our service data item with that change. That's schema JSON LD, test with Google. 
and we have no warnings, but we have very comprehensive schema markup. So we have tutorials for which properties to include for a service, and then also guides on how to make all of these data items that are included within the service schema itself.